I can remember back to my first indelibility. I came up in thought process that when you run it to perfection, you have it. I don't think this is something brand new. I think I've seen other people do this combination of four play series. I brought a more modernized Brazil on so that you get all of my new. Welcome to X and O's of Joe's. I'm Coach Gene Clemens. You know, I can remember back to my first indoctrination into the game when I first started playing regulation football. You would think that a guy who's into innovation and spreading the ball out and getting the ball to the athletes in a myriad of ways would have came up in, you know, some type of run and shoot offense. But in reality, I came up in the wing T. And I never forgot my upbringing in the wing T because even though in many people's eyes the wing tee is boring, maybe even in some cases limiting, I understand that the wing tee is one of those offenses that when you run it to perfection, you have a series of plays that can really net you a lot of positive yards and really make it hard for a defense to be able to um, defend you. So what I want to do today is I want to show my variation of the wing tee. Now, I don't think this is something brand new. I think I've seen other people do this, but this is my take on it. And what I've done is I'm going to show you a four-play combination, a four-play series out of the wing, out of the wing tee, but out of the pistol wing. So you're going to get a chance to see it from a more modernized perspective, I guess, of how the wing tee would look if we threw it into the pistol, which you all know already is one of the, the, the favorite things of mine. So get it out the way right now. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Turn that bell on so that you get all of my new posts. Um, this is the second one of the week, so you, you should look forward to some really good content this week, but definitely want to check it out. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a lot of fun. Two, one. So here is the wing T as I would draw it up in the pistol. You can see um, that we have both guys in the wings. We've got our pistol guy at four, heels at four. Our fullback is heels at six, so he's close enough to where he can still get that same distance as he would if this guy was under center, maybe a little bit further back. But you still want to have that same type of time up on the play. The snap is going to replace those steps that the quarterback would normally have to take. So what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at our belly series. We're going to be looking at our belly series. And so want to be able to look at, um, look at that belly series. We're going to look at our belly. We're going to look at belly counter. We're going to look at a sweep off of the belly. We're going to look at a play action off of the belly. So we want to make sure that we have all these things in place so that we can have success. Now, I'm going to get this out of the way. There's two ways that you can obviously run this. One is with no motion, and then the other is motion. So right now, we're going to run, right now, we're going to run to the weak side. We're going to run to the weak side. Now, we're looking at our, we're looking at our, our linemen, one, two, three, four, linemen over here for one, two, three, four, five, Sorry, four linemen and our back for one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five defenders. So we like our numbers over here. We run our belly, you know, everything in this offense comes down to matchups. So we would normally go a gap down backer type of system right here. But because of the way they're playing it, we're going to call this on so we'll go on on here and that man's going to lock on these guys are going to double team to that backer so it's still here to here boom boom to this guy this guy's going to lock up on he's coming through here for that guy he has to stay outside because he has to be cognizant of this quarterback faking that, and then getting outside. So we're looking to hit right in here. That ball's going to get snapped. He's going to reverse out because that's what he does in the normal wing tee. So he would be sitting here. So if you're the back, you could act like you're the back. I'm going to catch this short snap, boom, and I'm opening up, and then I'm faking. So 
I probably went out of the screen, and that's awesome because that's what should happen. So when you see the quarterback again, he gets it, boom. He opens, fullback coming right behind him. He opens, and he carries out that fake. So he's here. Everybody else, boom, back, back, back. He can work out here. Now, obviously, if we caught that with the motion, he's coming that way. Obviously, another way to hold that B, that linebacker out there so that he can't come in here. So that's our on. We're going to run this belly series, and that's our on. Now, we always got to have counters off of this, and so I'm going to show you the counters that we run off of this that makes this thing so deadly. Stay tuned for that. The second thing we want to run off of this belly series is we want to run our belly counter. We want to be able to run counter out of this. Now, here's how we run counter. First off, everything here is going to stay the same. So he's still going to hit here into this hole. He's still going to reverse out. What's going to change, obviously, the blocking and what this back is going to do here because he's going to back up. He's going to take some steps back and then attack. So we'll see how it goes. Obviously, we want him to still be blocking here. Now, this guy is going to lock up, keep that guy out. We've got this bat block on this nose. He can't get penetration. We've got this down block. Now, so we have two different ways we can block this. We have it to where we can block everything down, 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 have this hit wider with the linebacker so I could go boom, boom. I'm sorry, boom, boom. Have them double team this guy to this backer. I can have this guy come through. And then we can kick out here with the end. Or I can have him go there. He still comes up through. Have these two guys double team. And we can kick here. Whichever way, this guy has to know that he is cutting off that guy's block. If that guy, if this guy comes up the field and he kicks him out, now he's reversing out, handing back. He backs up, and now he's up through the hole. Or he's up through the hole. But if he comes out here and this guy squeezes and that guy logs him, he's actually going to hit this and get outside. So the quarterback... And you're my back again, so watch. I'm here. I open up. There's a fullback going. I hand back to my opposite back. He comes through, finding that guard to get up through, and that's that belly counter. A very beautiful play because this guy and this guy have to play respects there. So now we can obviously run that with no mo, bring him here, or we can run that with the motion. But I like it with no mo because it gives us another guy to block on that side. Now, within the wing tee, you always want to try to create confusion. But you also want to take advantage of leverage and matchups. And so that's where our belly sweep come in, comes in at. So off of our belly action again, this guy doing the same thing. We're actually going to have both our guards pull for the sweep. Now, this is a very important block. We want to make sure that we get this guy on the ground. Cut that nose. Um, don't let him get penetration because this guard has to get out of there. This guy is coming down. This guy, this guy is coming down for this linebacker. This guy is getting on that guy, on that end. Holding them, on the, holding them on the line of scrimmage. We've got the first puller coming here. Sorry, here's our fullback there. Picking up anything, any trash after he comes through on his fake. We've got cutoff on the backside, cutoff on the backside. 
This guy is pulling around for whatever's left. And this guy is on the snap of the ball, full speed hauling to get the rock. That guy's getting the rock. So the quarterback is going to reverse out, fake that belly, hand off to the sweep. So you be my fullback again. I'm the quarterback. I get the snap. I fake the belly. I hand the sweep. So I'm here. Boom. Fake the belly. Hand the sweep. He's out the gate. It's a beautiful play because these guys have to respect the belly. They have to respect the belly. They don't know if this guy is trying to X because we can call XB at some point and have that guy come down and that guy go and hit this, hit this end right here. But so they have to respect the inside belly because we run belly so much that when this guy comes in motion, they're just like, OK, that's just a regular normal motion. Boom. Now he's out the gate. We've got full leverage. Man on man, we've got an extra blocker just in case somebody gets missed. Now we've got a play. So the last play I'm going to show you is our belly keep pass. So our belly keep pass, or belly pass, whichever you like to call it, has the opportunity to bust one big because we've been blocking belly, blocking belly, blocking belly. So I'm going to get the receiver involved immediately because He's been coming in. Oh, he's going to go in. Attack that safety. Nope. He's trying to get to the corner. Now, in reality, we really just want him to occupy this guy. But if that guy's dumb, that's a touchdown ball. Now, what we've got here is our normal belly from our fullback. Our normal belly from our fullback. He's here into the play. Our quarterback. Reverses out on our key. Now, because of the way he's in the wing, remember, if he's in a wing T, he'd be here, he can come right through and out. What all we want to do now is we want to influence. So he's going to come down and then work into the flat. He's going to come down and work into the flat. We're hoping this guy bites. Tight end, has the drag from the backside. Backside wing, has the backside post. Backside wing has the backside post. Everybody else, everybody else is giving their play fakes, but obviously not run fakes, but obviously not getting up the field. So we can't have our offensive linemen trying to go to the linebackers because now if they get too far down the field, they get an ineligible man downfield. The good thing about run play action is you can have it all happen right there on the line. So boom, 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 we're there. This is the key. He can't just release. We got to chunk this guy because we want this dude to think he has to come up and get this guy because if he doesn't, that guy's just going to run. It's called belly keep pass, which means he always has the option to keep it. If nobody's attacking him, he's going to take it up. So one of these two guys has to be the guy to bring that guy up. We want to press him long enough that the quarterback can get outside or get past him. So now this guy feels like he has to come up and we're wide open in the flat. But if that guy stays back and tries to go with the flat, that backside, line, that backside tight end should be open in this area, and if not, he's just going to tuck it and run, get us three to five yards, live the fight another day. So if I'm your quarterback for the last time today, I appreciate it. You've been a great, a great back back there. I come out, boom. Here I am, and there I go. Out of the frame. I reverse out. Same action as I've had on belly the entire day. I work out into, 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 into my press, and I'm running. This is not me jogging, kind of sort of setting up. I'm running because I need to be in a full sprint. I want these people to think I'm about to run the ball. So when they come up, all it is is me dropping that ball to this back 
or dropping that ball to the tight end. And if people get really crazy, like this cornerback gets really crazy, we throw the touchdown ball to the receiver. This free safety gets really crazy and tries to run the alley, we get this backside post. But most of the time, it's money right in here. And that's what we have for the day. Um, the belly keep pass, one of my favorite passes, one of my brother's favorite passes is the belly keep pass because he was normally that guy getting the ball in the flat. And quite honestly, I can't take anything away from him. He was hella dangerous when he got the ball in the flat. He did a lot of great things when he ran that um, offense. That guy is a dangerous man when he gets the ball in the flat. And it's a great reward because you've been asking him to block this entire time. Now, again, wing T, something you can see under center a lot. You're starting to see it more from the gun, more from the pistol. Just my look and variation. If you're a wing T guy and I don't do it exactly the way that you do it, please don't kill me because there's a good chance that you don't run your wing T or your, your double wing the same way that they ran it in the old days of the Delaware. That's the beautiful thing about innovation is that we take something and we create and we make it our own or we just put little elements to it that makes it easier for us to understand and easier for us to communicate. Whatever it might be, whoever you are, whether you're at the youth league level, the high school level, the college level, if you want to try to implement any of this stuff, feel free. If there's things that you want to know, just ask a question. Leave a comment down there. Um, leave a comment on any social media platform that you find me on. I'm at Gene Clemens everywhere you look. Um, so if there's anything you want to know, if there's anything that you want to see, reach out and we'll be more than happy to um, show it to you. Until next time. I'm Coach Gene Clemens. Like, subscribe. This has been X and O's of Joe's.